In this video, I'm going to show you how to combine track changes from multiple different Word documents into a single document. So this might be something that's happened to you, where you've had a document and you've sent it off to multiple people to get some edits or changes or suggestions. And rather than them all using maybe a SharePoint or a OneDrive version, they've each edited locally and added their own changes and now you have multiple Word documents each of which have different changes. So in order to put all of these changes together into a single document we want to come over to our review tab here in the ribbon and we want to go to this button that says compare and click on the little drop down and we can see we've got compare and we've got combine. Currently I've got open my original file with no edits and then I've got two different versions that have come back to me with different track changes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to combine and I'm going to start by taking the original document, combining the first set of changes. And then if you've got multiples, you follow the same process, adding each subsequent set of changes. So we'll click on combine and it asks you for the original document. So we we'll use a file explorer and we'll go and find that. And then the revised document, and again, File Explorer, we'll go and find that. And then we give each one a name. If we hit the More button, we can see that there's actually a whole lot of other options if we want to get more precise. So what are we wanting to include? And generally, we just want everything here. We can see by default, we get insertions and deletions. But normally we want all the rest of what has been changed. It also normally makes most sense for it to be at the character level. Here, show changes in. We can add this to the original document. Or we can open a brand new document that has everything in it. So I've now added the file, the original, the version that's got the track changes. And I'm going to add these changes in to the original document. If we go to the new document, it'll create a brand new fresh document and it'll just be merging both as two separate things. So hit OK. And after we hit OK, we can see that we have this combined document here in the center. On the right hand side, we can see our original document and our revised, which was the version which had some track changes. And then over on the left here, we can see a list of the revisions that have happened. So if I now want to add in that second set of comments, I go through that same process. So up to the compare button, Choose Combine. So I've selected both the original and then version 2, which has more changes in it. And again, I'm going to just add this all into the original document. What I might like to have done is for that first time round, made a new document and then added things in there. It gets you to the same spot pretty much where you just have your original content and then the different versions with the different track changes. So we'll click OK. And so it now starts to get a little bit more complicated looking because original had my original text and then it had the first set of track changes added to it. We've then added the next set of track changes over the top. But this is still pretty handy because we can see where there is differences between the documents. And down the side here, we can see we now have a whole lot more revisions. And we're able to work through all of the revisions one at a time, just how we normally would. So we've got the ability to accept and reject. One thing that is a little bit different in terms of the formatting that we see here from when we have a normal document that just has track changes on it, is that because we've got all this extra stuff open, the way that we view our comments, just over revisions, we can see here and we can see it highlighted. So I click on that, we can see the highlight where I've added a comment and we can see the comment over here in the revisions list, but we don't have the normal little comment box that's popped up. If you feel that there's a little bit too much going on the screen here with the combined and the previous documents, we can come back up here to the compare button, come down to show source documents, and we can choose to hide the source documents or only show one or the other if we would prefer. So if we go hide the source documents, we can see that takes them away. And now that we have that space freed up, we can see that we can now see our comments and our formatting edits like we normally would. This has been how to merge sets of track changes in Word. It's a relatively simple process, but it's one that I found not a lot of people actually know about. I think that it's really handy because it can help you avoid having a whole lot of different versions of a document 
particularly when you might have stakeholders who are sending you separate versions with their own set of comments. You can put them all together and come back to having one document that has all of the bits and pieces in it. I hope you found this helpful. If you want to learn some more word tips, the next video you might like, I will link up here on the screen, and it's how to auto number the captions for your figures and tables in Word. Thanks for watching.